In this video, I'll be installing Brave Browser ADMX files, and this will allow me to configure Brave Browser settings using group policy. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And first, I will be installing the ADMX files for a single server. And this will allow me to create group policies for my computers when I'm creating policies for Brave Browser settings on that single server. And this works fine if you're managing group policies from a single server. And after that, I will be enabling central store for group policy, and this will allow me to manage Brave Browser settings on any machine in my domain. Anyways, now I will be downloading the ADMX files, and for that I will use the link that I have here that brings me to the Brave Browser support page. Then I will click on the link right here, and the download should start. And then I will go to my downloads folder. Here we have the policy templates, I will right click on it and then I will use 7-zip to extract the contents, I will go inside of this folder or I will just copy it and then I will go to my VMware workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. For now I will minimize the Server Manager and I will place the policy templates on my desktop. And before doing anything else, first I need to figure out if this machine is already using the central store or if it's still using the local group policy templates. And for that, I will go back to my server manager, then I will go to tools and I will open the group policy management console. Then I will right click on any policy and select edit. I will expand policies and I will make this screen a bit larger. And as you can see here, it says retrieving from the local computer. And this means that this machine is using the local group policy templates and it's not using the central store. And this means that we can install the policy templates on this machine and everything should work fine. So I'll close this window. I will minimize this window and this one. Now I will open File Explorer. Here I will go to this PC, local disk, and then Windows. And somewhere here we should have policy definitions folder. I will go inside of it. And here we can see all of our policy templates. Now to install the Brave Browser policy templates, I will go inside of this folder. Then I will go to Windows. I will go to ADMX. And here I will select the NUS folder and also the brave.admx file. Then I will right click on it, select copy, and I will insert the folder and the file into the policy definitions folder. As you can see, it appeared here and also have appeared inside of here. And that's basically it for installing the policy templates on a local machine. And now let's go back to the Group Policy Management Console and let's see if the Brave Browser settings are available. Once again, I will just edit any policy that I have, go to Policies, Administrative Templates, and here we can see Brave settings in here. So basically that means that everything works fine. And that's it for deploying the policy templates on a local machine, but there is a problem with this method that the policy templates are not available for my other servers or my other workstations. For example, if I go to my other server and open the group policy management console here, let's also edit any policy. Let's make this window a bit larger expand policies, administrative templates, you can see that it's also saying retrieving from the local computer and we don't see the policy templates for the Brave Browser. And to fix it, we can install the policy templates on this machine also, or we can just use the central store so that the policy definition files are available to all of my servers. And to do that, I will go back to my first server. Once again, let's close this window. Let's minimize this one. And here in the file explorer, I will go to my network share. Basically, I need to enter my domain name. So it's ad.letsdoautomation.com. Then we need to go to the syswall folder. Once again, we have another shortcut here that's, uh, that has the domain name. I will go inside of it. And then we need to go to the policies folder. And as you can see, we don't have the policy definitions folder in this one. And to enable the central store, we only need to have the policy definitions in here. So to create the folder here, I will just go to my Windows folder here and I will copy the policy definition folder 
or from this location to this location i will move it here let's wait a bit and it's done and that's basically it this should enable the central store so if i go back to my group policy management console and let's once again edit any policy and go to policies administrative templates we can see that now it's it is saying a retrieving from the central store and this means that the policy definition files should be available to all of my machines so let's go back to the server 02 let's close this and reopen it once again go to policies administrative templates and here we can see that the brave browser policies are available on this machine also and here we can see also that it is saying retrieving from the central store and that's basically it for this video like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one